Hey guys, welcome to another video and tutorials for you. So today I'm going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to make a PSD. And I know I haven't made like a Photoshop tutorial since forever. I just hate waiting for Photoshop to open because it slows my computer down. So pretty much I made two PSDs and they're pretty similar. They just brighten up the picture and yeah, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use a PSD. So first, just open a picture. I'm going to open an icon, I mean a picture, and I'm going to make it an icon and then try to make a PSD. So I'm opening, I'm using a picture of Bethany, who is absolutely flawless by the way. I'm going to leave her YouTube channel on the description below, so if you haven't subscribed, you need to check out her channel. So now, let's start making the PSD. First, go to Window and press Animation. It's going to open. Oops, sorry. I mean, not an animation. So first, all I have to do is just go to Windows. Window. And then press Adjustments. And you can see a lot of adjustments you can do. So you can just play with it. Start with Brightness. And then choose whatever brightness you like. And what makes the picture nice. So I like making contrast to zero and then when you're done you press that button to the back then you go to levels then do whatever you like to the picture I like bright pictures I just think they're really good for um for icons because they are like really cute so you can just do whatever you want mess around and it doesn't have to be like that nice. I mean, like, seriously, it can be anything you want. It's your PSD, it's original. And try not copy anyone's, anyone's layers. So, the PSDs look really nice, and you would probably like them. So, if you don't like it, then you can make changes. And if you want more vibrance to picture or something, you just press the vibrance again. Then there's the second one and make it really bright but I don't want my picture that bright I mean like I like icons that are like not too bright and not too dark so you just continue and do whatever you want so I'm pretty sure you guys have know how to use these already you guys are pretty good to know how to use these so um on gradients you can download a lot of gradients from DeviantArt I'll I use my gradients to um, make pictures black and white. I'm not really sure which one, but I use the gradients that makes my pictures black and white because it looks pretty good in the PSD. So then I would just hide it, and after you're done with all the effects, you go from the most bottom adjustment and press shift and go to the most top. I exclude the gradient and then I just press CTRLG and it'll make into a group so I just hide the group and you can see the picture without the PSD and with the PSD I think the change make it like really nice and then black and white you can see the difference I like to hide it and after you're um, done with it just file save as and then you press the format when you save, you press the format as PSD. I'm pretty sure you know how to do it because you guys are pretty smart at these already. So after that, you can test it on other pictures. So let me make an icon. So make sure you pick the pictures without the effects. So I'm not really sure yet. But when you're done, you just double click on the group thing. And then you just name it whatever you want. So I don't know any names. So I'm just going to pick randomly, like is T-O-G-H-J-K-K-L and then you can put like by editorials for you or something, but I'm not because it's more for my personal use, I don't think I'm going to put it in DeviantArt so after that, you use the PSD and just drag it to the icon and see if it works well and if you like the difference, then it's perfect um, this PSD obviously makes a picture brighter and a little bit more sharper but it can be anything so then you just save it and then you rename it and then you can use it on icons or other pictures and so far I made three PCs today so yeah
Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope this helps. Please like if this helps. Comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.